The Genie is a perfect blank canvas when it comes to positioning and installing both the water and electrical systems. We took some time to mull over the pros and cons of what we thought would suit our needs. It then took some time to research the components and order these from various suppliers before the install could start. In this video, we cover the water system solution we have done. This is just covering the install, but this system still needs to be tested. So some items might still change, but that is all part of the fun when it comes to a custom install. Before we get into the system, we just want to point out that the Genie has gone through some generational changes since it was first developed. The original version had no right hand side door and the door on the left was a flat door. The version we have seems to be a generation 3 2020 year, which has pocket doors on each side of the trailer. The newer 2021 versions have the same pocket doors, but the handle position on the right hand side door has been swapped around to make a panel available for the water filler, electrical connections, etc. In our research, we came across imagery of water systems that had been installed in both the first versions as well as the latest versions, and we used the hybrid of these systems to suit us. We sourced the water tank from Italian themselves. The tank has changed shape since the first version to the latest version. So in the picture here, you'll see that the rectangular shape uh, suits um, the trailer up to our version whereas the tank that has got the chamfered size suits the latest version of the trailer. They are both about 70 odd liters in capacity and um, both fit in the exact same position inside the trailer. Just the newer one is shaped better to fit into the side of the monocoque shape of the trailer. We then set about installing the access hatch to the tank. We did this closer to the rear so that it could easily be reached when the back door is open of the trailer. The inlet to the tank is also at the rear on the right hand side as this sits neatly in the provided cutout in the right hand side compartment of the trailer. We then installed a pickup tube quick connect for the outlet to the pump and another quick connect to allow for the breather pipe to be led to the filler cap. This tank fits very neatly into the base of the trailer. We made an aluminium strap to help secure the tank once installed. We then worked on a prototype mount panel for the pump and filter to be able to be mounted to the trailer. We later had this laser cut out of aluminium for a secure mount but also keeping it lightweight. This will be the water systems control center and will be mounted in the right hand side compartment. Some clips were needed to secure the filter to the panel. We wanted to create some standoffs that would still securely hold the pipe even on rough roads. So we drew these up and 3D printed them ourselves. The PU Quick Connect system works really well and with securing clips to ensure pipes don't pop off unexpectedly. The 12 volt pump has a pre-filter and then we added an inline disruptor filter which our drinking water will go through. Once the board was loosely assembled we couldn't resist a quick test run in the garden to see that the system was working the way we had planned it. There are some leaks coming from some of the pipes that were only hand tightened but this will all be securely tightened once it is in the trailer. We were happy that everything was working the way we felt it should. The daunting task of cutting holes and drilling into the trailer started. There was really no going back at this point. Wherever we cut and drilled, we made sure to deburr and to paint the exposed metal edges. Here you can see the water filler position is on the side of where the nose cone will be mounted later. We used a silicone reducer to get the pipe diameter down from the filler itself to suit the John Guest and PEX piping we would use for the filler system. This pipe system is very easy to work with and also uses retaining clips to keep the connection secure. Here is a quick rundown of how the system works. As mentioned before, everything is housed inside the right hand side compartment door. So on opening that door, the system is in front of us. So from the filler tube on the top right of the image over there, you can see the dark blue pipe is the reducer. The light blue pipe coming down is the air pipe for the tank to the filler. The white pipe coming down is the inlet pipe going to fill the tank. 
And then in the bottom corner there, the black pipe coming out of the bottom of the trailer there is the inlet pipe to the pump. So that's taking the water from the tank back up to the pump. We also made a little aluminium shelf there just to protect those pipes when we're loading other items into the trailer. The panel is mounted securely and we can see there the light blue pipe going in through that hole into the trailer, going to the top of the tank as the air breather and the white pipe going into the tank as the filler connector. You can also see the electrical connections running up to the pump at that particular point. Here's just an overview of the panel in position with the piping laid out. We then also included uh, two outlets from the system. The one is to a tap which will be for our drinking water and um, we used again a surface mount quick connect system so the tap can easily be plugged in or clipped out when not in use and that's just a swivel tap that opens and closes. So for our drinking water from the tap the water will come up from the tank through the particle filter to the pump from the pump, it'll then go up through a diverter, which will allow it to go through the disruptor filter to take out any other impurities. And then it will come through and connect back up to the tap on the outside. So that is the one option we have. Then we have another option to turn that diverter off and divert the water straight out of the pump. And that can then go to a quick connect at the rear of the trailer. And this connector will have a pipe attached to it with a stopcock on the end and that'll allow us to fill buckets, um, wash sandy feet or whatever we might need to do that would not entail the water having to go through the filter which we would prefer to keep for our drinking water. All these items are quick connects and can easily be removed. We also decided to put the tap in that position because we could easily still rest a bottle on the top of the back little hatch and fill it um, instead of having to hold the bottle while filling and that quite easily can take a one and a half liter up to a five liter bottle no problem then just to clarify what's finally what's going on inside the trailer so you'll see the black piping there is the outlet from the tank which goes to the pump that's all the quick connect fittings there and then on this side the air release for the filler and we used blue tubing for that so we could clearly designate between the two so that is a quick rundown of the water system as we have designed and installed it for our needs. In the next video, we'll show the electrical system and how we have included and incorporated that into our trailer. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. We'll also provide some links to the suppliers we used for our components that we managed to source in South Africa. And that may just assist anybody else who's wishing to do a similar system in their Genie trailer. Thank you.